New Mexico is the, the home base for Spaceport America, and the ISPCS is the conference here, so the international folks can come here, see the excitement about what's going on in New Mexico, where the new birthplace of commercial space is actually taking place. From the beginnings with Goddard, Von Braun, uh, Colonel Stapp, Kittinger, it all happened right here, and now the second age of space is happening again, and New Mexico is right there on the forefront with Spaceport America. The Wild West meets space, so you come here, tourism, economic development, get this new industry going, and education, delivering for the kids. When we started off, there were just talks of, you know, spaceports. There were talks about how regulation needs to change in order to allow people to fly to space, civilians to fly to space, um, and who would be the players, who are the players, who would be investing in it. Uh, there were lots of questions, uh, very little answer. And throughout the years, I can see uh, groups forming, uh, organizations forming, companies incorporating, spaceport foundations and spaceport authorities forming all over the world. And, um, you know, they're engaging in discussion here in this forum and uh, discussing their challenges and their learning. It's a learning experience for all of us. I think what's great about this conference is, is you have exciting new space companies with new applications that are coming here. You have experienced companies like ours that are here, and you have a real interplay between the two. We come here, we get energized by the excitement of the people that are here. Uh, we see a lot of that excitement. We see what's happening here in this community with the Spaceport America, with some of these new companies and entrants into the marketplace. And we're trying to figure out how we can work in that to leverage our experience to bring some of that capability to the marketplace. If you're a new company, you should be here to see what's going on, the exciting applications that are being driven in this marketplace, but also to meet the companies that are experienced and been doing this for 20 or 30 years who know how to, how to uh, really create and, and drive those markets. So uh, to me, it's a great... Uh, it's a great place to be, uh, and it's a great place where you see the intersection of new space and, and the more experienced players. In the emerging small or entrepreneurial space company business, there's not a lot of venues, ISPCS is one of them, where um, the entrepreneurs can get together, and this one has a good mix of the serious entrepreneurs with enough representatives of more traditional companies, it's a good place to talk about ways that we can help each other and build some partnership opportunities. But this is one of the few I can think of, maybe the only one, where it's um, a lot of the small entrepreneurial companies with a good amount but not overkill of the larger entities. There's so many different perspectives here. No one's trying to drive a consensus. It's the benefit for the attendee of hearing all the various perspectives from where people are coming from, be they lawyers, insurance brokers, underwriters, developers of vehicles, spaceport operators, regulators. You get the whole mix of people here sharing and piling on to the perspective of where we are going in space. We have the responsibility to encourage, facilitate, and promote commercial space transportation. So this conference, the ISPCS, is an ideal forum for the industry to come together and to have discussions among the launch vehicle operators, spaceport operators, prospective passengers, the insurance community, investors, and the regulators on the kinds of accomplishments that we've seen in the last few years, the kinds of challenges we're facing, and the kinds of plans that we're working on for the future. Networking is probably the most important factor in terms of what we're trying to do at this point is to meet people and start building relationships for companies that we know are going to need facilities in this area. Last year, when me and a colleague were here for the first time, we noticed that uh, there was a very good presence of the space tourism industry, uh, a presence of both the new space and the old space. Uh, so we uh, decided right away last year that the next year, this year, we will have a bigger delegation over to learn, to make new contacts, to also uh, be able to create possible new coming business. One of the things that's particularly powerful about the ISPCS is that it 
has opened itself as widely as it has to international input. Uh, right from the first panel today, we've had international uh, commentary, we've had, we've had debate among people that is affected by the different perspective they have from the national uh, point of view that they bring to the field. And the interchange means that we really do move forward towards a more global set of solutions to problems which are frankly bigger than any country, no matter how powerful it is, uh, can solve on its own. What I like about ISPCS is you meet new people every time, and they're not just enthusiasts, they're scientists, they're engineers, and they're entrepreneurs. The entrepreneurial side here is, is great, because you run into people who are really interested in helping catapult new space forward, and that, to me, is a very big deal, a huge benefit of being here. For people interested in where the space sector might go, but a little afraid that they don't know enough to be able to analyze the risks and take a reasonable estimate of the rewards, this conference is perfect because it brings people together who have a financial interest in space with people who understand the technologies, with people who build businesses. It has big businesses and small businesses. It is, I think, for people looking to get into the space sector, a, a great place to take a look at the real underlying financial possibilities of the technologies we're exploiting. There's plenty of business in this room every day of the conference. And people are coming up to me and saying, I have made the money back this morning alone on this conference. I'm making money. This is great. I really am having a ball. Thank you for inviting me. So I would encourage anybody who's listening to this video to go check out the website year-round.